Orgasm, Super Orgasm, Resum, Torrid. I think the names are kind of fun. Hey, back in the bathroom. As a morning TV news anchor, I get asked often, what is the most challenging part of your day? And a lot of people think I'm gonna say, waking up at 1.45 in the morning. And let me tell you, that's not fun. But the most challenging part would have to be here in the bathroom every morning. I have to put my makeup on like I'm going to prom. There is no makeup artist at the station waiting for me with brushes and makeup. It is all going on here before I get to work. And it's a lot. It's detailed, it's making sure it looks flawless because we're in HD and well, that doesn't hide anything. So today I wanted to share with you my everyday makeup. I can wear it seven days a week on camera and off camera so I can have that flawless finish on air, but I can also look great on the weekends, going out, grab a cup of coffee. And I think that that's important because if you have watched the video about organizing makeup and organizing everything that's underneath my sink, you'll notice I don't have a lot of products. I don't have like this big drawer of stuff, which means that I wanna make sure that every product counts. Clearly, I'm all done up today. I actually just got off the set, came home, turned everything on and thought, okay, let's talk about makeup. I'm going to show you a toned down version of what I do every morning, because I think that that's a little bit more realistic um, on what I would achieve on a normal basis rather than just full tilt. But I can talk about that later. Let's start. Here's my everyday makeup. This first product is sort of an impulse buy. I only started using it more recently and I am in love. It is Dior Skin Air Flash. Now, let me give you a little backstory as to why I switched. Recently, I had some new headshots taken and I actually had someone do my makeup for me. And he had this whole setup. He did the airbrushing thing where you've got the pump and the motor and the wand and it looked amazing. Okay, first, I'm never going to invest that kind of money in a product. And second, I would be scared to use it. So next best thing, this is Air Flash and I call it airbrushing makeup for dummies. And I don't mean that as an insult. I mean, I would never be able to use any other product and I think this is great. It gives you that same flawless finish. So you just pop it off and it sprays just like I was gonna like graffiti my face. I mean, same kind of deal. You gotta shake it up. Once it's all shook up, you use a makeup brush to apply it. Now you can apply it directly to your face, but I prefer not to. I've tried it both ways and I'm telling you, invest in a good brush. This is the Sephora brush in number 94. And I find that it allows the makeup to go on most effectively. And so I highly recommend this brush. Now it's easy. You just take a little bit and then you start applying. I start by dotting it on one side of my face and then going in a circular motion and actually working it around down underneath my neck, on my nose, my cheeks, my forehead, and then I go ahead and spray again and then work on the other side of the face. One of the reasons I love this product is because it has what you've heard before, buildable coverage. Well, clearly on the weekend, I'm not gonna have this thick mask on my face, but during the week, I can really build up the coverage so it is flawless in HD but during the weekend, I can keep it as light as air. You would not even be able to tell that I had any foundation on. That's how good of a coverage you're going to get and that's how evenly it looks. I'm hooked. I really thought it was gonna be a gimmick. I mean, I really did. And I thought, well, I'll do it once, I'll have some fun with it. And now I love it. I use color number 201. Prior to picking up the Air Flash, I was using another Dior Skin product. Well, I think that's fabulous, this is just quick, easy coverage. So. Yay to air flash and yay <laughs> for airbrushing for people who are not professionals. Now that I've got my foundation fixed, I do want to point out that I already have all of my primers, moisturizers. Now to the concealer, which is crucial <laughs> when you do wake up as early as I do, or for those of you who can't seem to get a good night's sleep, I feel ya. This is the Kat Von D Lock It Concealer. I talked about this before, except now the packaging has changed and it like threw me all off and even the color name changed. So this is L11 Neutral and this stuff is intense. A little goes a long way, but it's still hydrating and evens out your skin tone and it's not going to settle into your lines 
as long as you use it sparingly. I really love this because it takes away any under eye circles you may even think about having and it brightens your eye. I apply it with one of my sponges. I also have um, a smaller version of this so that I can get really close to under the eye and it softens everything. I always make sure this is a little damp when I'm putting the Locket Concealer on. This also covers up blemishes fabulously. Kat Von D knows how to make a really great product that is not only going to last, but is going to give you that kind of luminous set finish. So, you know, if you don't even want to use foundation, this may be all you need. This next tool in my makeup arsenal is something that I would say you don't necessarily need, but you are really going to want. It is the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. So it kind of looks like that HD powder you would put all over your face, but it's a little bit different. It is actually used to set your concealer so that you're not putting powder on underneath your eye in addition to the concealer, so then you're really getting it all gunked and layered up. This is allowing you to get that eye brightening look without putting a heavy powder. The great thing about this, I put it on immediately after my foundation and my concealer is done, uh, and I don't rub it off. So let me give you an example here, check this out. I use one of my makeup brushes and I'm pretty generous with it. You don't have to be, it's a personal preference, but I'm pretty generous and I actually dab it underneath my eyes and then I leave it there. And I'll leave it there throughout my entire makeup routine and I'll do my eyebrows, I'll do my mascara, I'll do my uh, eyeliner, eyeshadow, the whole nine before I ever wipe it off. And a couple of reasons. Number one, it's gonna catch all of that stuff that actually falls onto your cheek so it's not gonna wind up getting mixed up with your makeup. And then bam, you wipe it all off and you've got this gorgeous smooth finish. I love this stuff. I use it every single day. Because even if you're swiping on mascara, you know, every now and then something will flake off. Or if you're putting on your eyebrows, you'll get that down here. Uh, and this is something that's gonna make sure that you don't have that issue anymore. Now, I've already dead my brows and I have eyelash extension, but I'm telling you what, this will save you that annoying hassle when a piece of mascara flicks down on your cheek. I had it happen to me just this morning. Because I like to use my makeup on air and off air, I try to find products that can work in both cases. And one of those is a bronzer. You know, they've got gorgeous bronzers out there to give you that shimmer sparkle and that sun-kissed glow. But for me, I steer clear from anything that has sparkle or shimmer in it when I'm on camera. And I found a great one, Hoola Benefit. Their bronzer is fabulous. It says, believe this is bronze. Uh, sweep this matte bronzing powder on your face and look fantastic. Well, it does. Um, and the reason I like this, and look, you can see I'm kind of getting low, is because for me, I'm fair skinned. And so this is a bronzer that doesn't give you that orangey look or one that says, hey, I've got bronzer on. You're just able to get that nice glow. So when I'm using this, I always try to make sure I do it in a three. So I start from my forehead, and then I make a three down to my cheekbone, not going too far in on the cheek, and then I go down underneath the chin. So it's a backwards three and a three on each side of your face, and that way you know where to place the bronzer. And I think this provides the perfect look and just enough bronzer both on and off camera so that I get that glow without looking too tantastic. I found this next product on a trip to the drugstore. It is Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Skin Transforming Powder. And my expectations were low, I'll be honest, but uh, it really has transformed my skin. I use it on and off the air. Now, here's the thing. When I'm on the air, because the lights are so bright, I tend to use uh, number 25, but for everyday skincare, I always use number 20, which is a little bit more close or exactly my skin tone. Now, the great thing about this is it kind of evens everything out, and it really does look flawless. You don't need a lot. I typically just use um, a light powder brush and swish it around and then set everything. I don't wanna look oily or greasy, so I find this gives me more of a matte finish and that is the look I'm going for. Um, now, you know, the great thing about that skin brightening powder you put under your eyes, that's gonna give you some of that brilliance, but this is gonna stay very matte and give you a smooth look. And, um, you know, I tell you what, with the salicylic acid, that's great too for someone who has problems with breakouts. This also allows you to touch up during the day without having that caked on look. So, thank you, Maybelline. I don't know about you, but I was not allowed to wear makeup until I was Oh gosh, I mean, almost in high school, there was one thing that my mother allowed me to wear, blush. 
I still have kind of a blush issue today in the sense that I love to apply it. Heavy, dark, I even had a guy email me once and say, you know what, um, I just wanna let you know your blush is too dark on camera. <laughs> That's the one thing that I won't make apologies for. I know it needs to be light and um, look like a subtle kiss on the cheek and I try, but I love blush. And my favorite blush is NARS. NARS makes a great blush. And I haven't found one that I don't like. It all just depends on the color you want. This one is impassioned. I like impassioned because I can layer it up or I can go really, really light. Now, I don't know what it is, but it seems like every time I'm about to make a new video, I drop my makeup and I break it. So forgive me, but you can get an idea of the color. It's just I've got to be really careful because I've nearly ruined it. So it looks like I'm going to need to get a new one, but I'm going to make this work as long as I can. I am going to get every last drop of it. But I love this color for a couple of reasons. Number one, it is easy to blend. So you're not going to have that big streak of blush on your cheek. Number two is because it has that buildable coverage we talked about with the Air Flash. You can swipe it on once or twice for a lighter look or like me, who gets carried away sometimes, it won't let you go too far because it is such a light color. By the way, anyone ever notice out there how NARS has very illicit names for their blush, like orgasm, super orgasm, threesome, there's more. Anyways, impassioned is probably the more tamer of the names. Torrid. Anyways, I think the names are kind of fun. If only I could kick my over blush habit. Impassioned is helping me do that. The thing I spend the most amount of time on, as I'm sure a lot of you do, are my eyes. Really, it's my eyebrows, because that's a whole nother thing. I have none. During the week, I use several different colors to make my eyes pop. But on the weekend, I don't want to spend that much time, or after work, I don't want to spend that much time on my eye makeup. So I stick with two colors that I think work uh, no matter what. And this is after I've primed. But I have two colors um, from MAC that I've been using really for a while now. And one of them is vanilla, or I will go with Blanc type depending on what's available. Sometimes they're out of Blanc type. They always seem to be out of Blanc type, in fact. But I use this kind of as a highlighter really all over. Uh, that's a great option. Makes your eyes again look brighter. And then the second color I use more all over is this saddle color. And you can see I've used it quite a bit too, getting low. But the saddle color is almost like a bronzer um, with a little bit of a, a red brown tint to it. So it gives some color, but not too much color. Uh, you know, if you've used MAC products before, you know why they're great. They're easy to blend. They last a long time and they're not going to break your bank. During the week, I'm using six colors sometimes, five, let's go five. Uh, on the weekend, I'm gonna use one or two. It's funny the things you learn when you have somebody else do your makeup. Uh, I talked about the air flash and how having new headshots and having someone do my makeup opened my eyes to a lot of things, and one of those was lipstick. Uh, there are a lot of different options out there for lip color, and I've always been a big fan of NARS, but recently I switched after having this product used during my headshots, and I fell in love. In fact, thank you, thank you, thank you to Chris uh, for letting me keep the lipstick and the lip gloss. This is from Airbrush Makeup, airbrushmakeup.com. I didn't realize that Airbrush Makeup also made lipstick. What do you know? This is the Den Air, I don't know, Den Air, Den Air Matte Liquid Lipstick. It's in Lily. I'm obsessed with this color. When he put it on me, I was like, I have to have it. So this is a product that you swipe on once, you let it dry, you swipe it on again, you let it dry, and it lasts me all morning. I used to have to touch up all the time, uh, and I think this is great, I don't have to do that. Now, over this matte lipstick, because I don't want it to be just matte, I like a little bit of a gloss, I have been pairing it with this MAC, and this MAC is called Cultured, and this is just a lip gloss from them, A84, I believe is the number. Uh, you can put anything over the color, this is just something I've been using right now. I think it's a nice, fun summer spring color uh, that just gives you kind of a hint. Um, once again, you can layer it up with a darker lip gloss or not, depends on how you want to make this, but they have a whole slew of these airbrush matte liquid lipsticks with staying power and um, they're like 15 bucks. That's not bad. I have had this one tube for going on three and a half months, no, three months now, three months pretty good for me because I'm using it every single day. Like I said, my everyday makeup routine, 
It starts at work, but I can carry it into the weekend with just a few alterations. Quickie bonus product, totally optional, but I really love the NYX white eyeliner. I'm not sure if anyone else is still doing this. I like to put a little bit of white liner on the inside of my uh, eyelid. It really does make my eye look a little bit bigger and I think it makes it pop. This is a waterproof version of the white eyeliner and I mean it's easy. Just kind of go in and put it on and you have that little pop of color under your eye. It works. And I find that all of these products allow you a little bit of room for error. And that sure is nice on days when you're trying to put your makeup on quickly. So that's another reason why I love all of these products and I can wear them every single day. Like with the Air Flash, which I love. I try not to spray it <laughs> because I know I'm wasting it, but it's so much fun. Just like the Air Flash, I'm willing to try new stuff once I run out of this. So let me know if you have something that you have in your everyday makeup routine that'll make my life a little easier or make me look a little better. I'd love to hear about it. Comment below in the comment section and anything that I showed you today, I'll be sure to put in the description box. If you like what you saw, be sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe for a new video. Have a great week.